In today's video, we will learn about countdown latch in Java, what it is and how to use it with a real life example at the end. Countdown latch was added in Java 5 and is used for thread synchronization, meaning that you can stop a thread from executing further till one or more threads send a signal. A countdown latch accepts an integer, let's say 2. Now as soon as you call await on this latch, this thread will halt till countdown method is called on the same latch two times. When countdown latch is called each time, the count of latch reduces by 1 and the thread which called await will proceed further only when the count of latch reaches 0. Let's look at an example. Create a countdown latch with a count of 5. This count is provided through its constructor. Print a statement. Run the program. It runs normally. Now call latch.await before print statement and see what happens. Run this. The program goes into waiting state and it will be in this state till the count of this latch reaches 0. Or in other words, countdown method is called on this latch for 5 times since countdown call once will reduce the counter by 1. Let's do this and see how it goes. Create a new class. Define its constructor to accept a countdown latch. Declare a countdown latch field in this class and initialize it in constructor. Define a new method countdown. Write a for loop from 1 to 5 and in every iteration, call countdown method on this latch. Print a message along with the current latch count using its getCount method and a delay of 1 second in every iteration using sleep method. Sleep method throws interpret exception. For now, declare it using throws in method signature. This loop will execute 5 times, thereby reducing the count of latch from 5 to 0. Create an object of this class, passing it the object of countdown latch. Call countdown method on this object. Run the program. Look, as soon as the count of the latch reached 0, main thread also completed its execution. Let's reduce the loop iteration by 1 so that the latch count will remain at 1. Main thread is still stuck causing the program to halt execution. Hope you have understood the working of countdown latch in Java. Till now we saw the example of countdown latch to understand its use but its practical use is to halt a thread till some other concurrent threads finish their task. Let's see a real life example of countdown latch. Imagine that the tires of a car are being changed, after which its wheel balancing and alignment will be done. There are four workers who will change one tire of car each. After they finish, the technician will arrive and perform balancing and alignment. Ideally, the technician should wait till all the workers finish their job of changing tires, after which he will perform his job of balancing and alignment. Let's see how we can achieve this using a countdown latch. Remove this method and change this class name to tire change task. Also make it implement runnable interface since this task will be performed by 4 workers or 4 threads simultaneously. As soon as we implement runnable, we need to implement its run method. Print a message that the worker has started his job. Add a time delay of 1 second. Though changing a tire takes a lot more than that. Sleep method throws an interpret exception so we need to catch it. Again print a message that the job is done and finally call countdown on the latch. Next create a new thread or worker. Change the name of this variable to task to make it meaningful and supply this object to thread constructor since the thread expects a runnable. Create three other workers, one for each tire. Start all the four threads one by one. Change this message to indicate that balancing has started. Change the count of countdown latch to 4 since we have to wait for 4 threads. Also put in a message at the start that it is waiting for tires to get changed. Run the program. Look at the sequence of messages. Each worker has started his job, then completed it after a certain delay and when all the workers or thread finished their task. The thread waiting on those threads proceeded further and finished execution. 
If any one of these workers does not complete his task, then the main thread will also be stuck forever. Let's comment this out. Run again. Look, the balancing worker is still waiting and will keep on waiting. So, a countdown latch is used to synchronize threads and mainly used to halt a thread till some other threads complete their task. Thus, countdown latch can also be used to divide a complex task into multiple smaller tasks with each task executed by a separate thread. So that when each thread reduces the count of same countdown latch, the thread that is waiting for these tasks to finish can proceed to complete the remaining task. That is all for this video and I'll see you in the next one.